Hey there, everybody. Remember a few weeks ago, back in part 29, when we met Mr. Torvin, the dwarf with the Irish accent? Um, yeah. We're gonna finally get to that mission of his. Um, I've been really needing to do this mission for a long time. Um, because it has some pretty good benefits that we'll see. Um, but I've really been wanting to do some other stuff. And I really want to read the description, so we're going to have to take care of some guys here. The dwarf claims to know the location of more artifacts from Celebrimbor's past. I'm excited, because this dwarf has, seems to have a really good story. Actually, I know he has Shouldn't a good see story. Me. Shouldn't hear me. It was a clean kill. And none of them is going to go to waste. What a good guy. What's your name, Ranger? Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, uh, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> 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 oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. Well, that's just dandy. That's what Tyen was supposed to say there. We must prepare. I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. Italian's like, I'm ready. I can take him. His own beast. One you must learn to tame. First but lesson of Karagor hunting. Do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. <laughs> when I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Cargors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. It took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargors. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? And the hunt That's is good my to mistress. Know. Beautiful, thrilling, infectious. And she doesn't nag like my wife. Aw, oh, he's married. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air He also talks different. a lot. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on the Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? Why don't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. Hey, uh. Well, that's good to know. 
That's what I'm really here for. What now? Hop on and take up for a ride! Hold tight! Become one with the beast! It's pretty impressive. That's about the same time it took me to take one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. This creepy uh, wraith uh, elf dude. Sounds depressing. He makes rings. Oh my gosh. I really just ran in. Ran. I just run it into a rock. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it'll fight for you. I bet you can. Especially when I'm stuck against this tree. Who's winning now? Even the fiercest beast can be used for good. You've been hunting a known the good. Lone wolf for years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much or more. I like his little hammer. Yes. Though the doom does add a spice to the hunt. Sure, you can find a car, but can you shoot from one? You take him up high. Leave the grand dogs to me. I must say I'm quite good at shooting. Same, it's that same uh, elf thing. Short on lessons, running long on lip. <laughs> You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the crowd, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is Sounds about fun. discipline, training yourself to see the perfect moment rather than being told it. I once tracked a gray eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they tossed me to the rocks below. <laughs> or hunting party. Let's hunt them bastards for a change. Oh, that looks fun. doing well. I'm not sure, but I think I'm up on kills. Is that all of them? Oh. Well, how about I'll just, I'll just come save you. Stop 
I missed one. Can you believe it? Torben is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Tarion. Uh oh. Perhaps we should track the hunter. Where'd he go? You'll make a nice meal, dwarf. Torvin needs help. Cannibals are always eating a slang. Did you hear that? Just so you know, I had him. <laughs> what does riding Karagors have to do with killing Graugs? All these questions, Captain. Well, you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You're gonna need size and strength to fight the mighty Graug. Remember, on the hunt, respect is earned. Well, who knows? It'll even call you sir, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, the whole Karagor counter was, like, pretty worth it. And this dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. Oh, wow. That was pretty cliche, Calabrimbor. And now... <clears throat> Let's see what we have for this. Nope, for this. Yeah. So we unlocked the ability to counter. Now we're going to be able to mount Grogs. Man. Should I do that mission? How close am I? Oh man, I'm pretty close. You know what? Let's just go all out. I really like Torben. I think we have... I hope this isn't the last mission with him. I'm pretty sure there's more than two missions. He's pretty, pretty great guy though. Torvin has more to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the great white Grog. Yeah, good. Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. No, oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, well, did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. Oh, shade. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. He gave me these. And he also took my hunting partner. Oh. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Krabain to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. <laughs> so I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog. They're I do, becoming Captain. friends. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But well, why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. 
They don't call a weakness a Graug's heel for nothing. <laughs> you want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. No problem. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. Hmm. Great. to ride. Caracor, Caracor. I need a Caracor for speed. Sounds easy enough. Right, our captain. And I have to shoot it in the head. Seems to be ineffective. Hey, you! I've slain bigger crowds when I was a wee boy, and my beard was only three inches long. Step three: shoot it in the head. Right in the ear hole. Over here! Look over here! Nothing like a dwarf for dessert. We're a sweet little morsel. You get me in your mouth before I drop you with my hammer. Okay, everything's going in slow motion. Not sure what that means. That's kind of glitchy too. That looks uncomfortable. Step four. There is no step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. Well, that's you. Think for yourself. effective, I must say, really stopping all the enemies. Biting their heads off and stuff. Anymore? Anybody else want to get, anybody else need to get eaten by a, a grog? Or my character, you can get eaten by a character. The options are really endless. 
lot of stuff to eat you here. Eat you in uh, Mordor. Thanks. Thanks, Grog. That was a good time. I say, it's a wee bit unusual to ride the Grog. There's nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You should instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts. Let's go spill some, eh? That was a pretty good time, if I do say so myself. Um, Y'all stay gooshy, and I'll see you in the next part. Um, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Um, don't worry, that's not the last of Torvin. Um, but that was pretty fun, hanging out with that little sassy dwarf. I love me a good sassy dwarf. Thanks for watching. The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are a stubborn stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Okay, just kidding. Now thanks for watching. That part was cool. See you next week.